a little warm up. What we're looking for is the name of a location that is larger than a 7-Eleven, but smaller than a large airport. A museum. A square museum. A museum. Thank you. I'm the, I'm the intern, and it's my first day on the job, and hopefully I can do well for the next few weeks, and I'll be able to get a job and impress, impress everyone here. I really want to be a curator. I'm Marisa. You probably know me by my Instagram handle, Artie Marisa. <laughs> I just wander around the museums, you know, I find something so fascinating about them, even though I don't know shit about art. <laughs> I just fake it, usually, because nobody really knows. That's so fascinating <coughs> to me. They could just Google and fact check me. <laughs> My name's Theo. I'm an art student. Sometimes I just come here to you know, sketch. I typically work in just pastels, or, uh, it's hard to sketch in watercolor, but you know, I just come here on my lunch breaks because I really like the way the light comes in through the like, massive sunlight right there in the middle of the plaza. It's good. It's a, it's a peaceful space, and um, you know, I just I need a sense of peace in, this, in the hustle bustle of the art school world. <laughs> My name is Aspire. I am a living artist. People don't pay for my paintings. People pay to watch me paint. And I am the centerpiece of this museum's uh, collection this year. <laughs> Being a sculpture is... <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Night at the Museum. <laughs> True. <laughs> the lights go out. That's when I really live. <laughs> but lights are not. So. <laughs> I think Theo is so talented and so handsome. I was a photography student, and then I changed majors after I saw how beautiful <laughs> his face, <coughs> his pastel drawings were. So now I'm a pastel drawings major, and he's mentoring me on pastel drawings. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I think the no touching rule in this place is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck around. Music. <laughs> and that's why Mona Lisa was actually painted by Michelangelo. <laughs> yeah. I I enjoy spending my time here, you know. 
sharing my love for art with you, Aspire. <laughs> <laughs> People love me. <laughs> when they love art, they actually love me. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying that everything in this museum is worth of love. Even if you know as much as I do about it. But Aspire, your career seems to be getting started at a real nice speed. And so I'm just like wondering if you want to just like have like a collaboration on Instagram kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> My followers, your art, and just like get so, so high up to the art of Yeah, up until now, I've been really a lead, and I've made people come to museums to watch me paint, but I've never thought about just videotaping me and having people watch me paint. That's, exactly. And that's, yeah. And I can educate the people about art that way. Exactly, but not too much, because they're going to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by not too much? <laughs> Look. I'm just going to share it with you because I feel like we have an alliance going on right now, like a business partnership that's going to be like super beneficial. So, um, the first thing that you should know about me is that my fame is just, you know, a little bit fake. <laughs> I mean, it's not fake in the sense that I have all these followers. They follow me, they love me, all the likes, all the love, okay? <laughs> the problem is that I have received a kind of like a lot of complaints from our teachers because they tell me that their students get like really passionate in discussions about how I'm right instead of them. And so like the classrooms are not now as like a nice place for them to teach just because I am the teacher. Okay, so you're miseducating them, I get it now. Uh -huh. so, so, yeah, I should go to reality in your heart. <laughs> Lighting in here is oh, all off today. Sorry, it's just, I was just blocking it. No, no, you're, you're fine. It's just oh, the clouds that really distribute the light in a lot of fashion. Um, yeah, lighting is weird. <laughs> <laughs> just, I wonder how, like, you ever look at a cutest piece like this and just wonder how, how do they get the angles so just precise, so tight, so crispy, and so free and loose, and so expressive. It's like, why do I even do this? Spherical on this thing, and, and and you wouldn't need any credit. I wouldn't. I wouldn't stick any type of you know credit on you at all. I could do take this idea totally solo and just run with it. Hell, there's gonna be a whole new wing of this museum with this. We'll just call it the Spherists. Okay. Right? You wouldn't have anything to do with it. I wouldn't want to put that kind of. <laughs>
<laughs> not while you're making it the no fun zone. <laughs> I will still shoot you with this crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> Drop moment. <laughs> <laughs>
so that I could photograph you sweating a cigarette and maybe you could look at my photographs. Just because I'm outside, like, smoking a cigarette, that doesn't mean I'm still not working. Yeah. <laughs> it's not always working. This, this, this cigarette is work. So inspiring. This is physical work. Okay? It's so inspiring. Should I, I know, smoke I... too? I'll start smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's your life. You can live it however you want. I know it looks like, you know, things are just flowing off my fingertips. And ever since I got the movement off its feet, you know, solo, <laughs> the spherist over here, king of the spheres. <laughs> stuff just like pours out of my fingers. But can you not point the camera? Like in my general direction? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> keep a certain air of like mystique. Because this is, this is work, okay? I know it just looks like I'm doodling like on a napkin, <laughs> playing myself in tic-tac-toe right now. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Just take one of mine. Okay. Just take one. Uh, I don't want to take a backpack. Okay. <laughs> okay. This makes me a real artist now, right? Yeah. Yeah, smoking makes you a real artist. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Oh. What if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if we just try? What if we just try? <laughs> You're not trying to do some type of performance, are they? Because <laughs> I was thinking about doing that. I was thinking about starting it's, it's a whole... Like, it's a live art. A live artist. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can we do this in real life? museum to open. I, I think performance art is a little like passe, at least in my humble king <laughs> opinion. <laughs> this is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> this is dumb. It's dumb. Let's passe right by the performance art. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the museum opens in five minutes. Okay, so I have to get back to my <laughs> my plinth. Is that what <laughs> Mode. <laughs> we, we call it detente. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I look like a man who knows what to do. Right, we've got 25 years or so. A uh, word you're really going to want to use a lot is called detente. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? You know, it's up to you. It's one of those. <laughs> a duel when using a crossbow. <laughs> Listen, I just, I just want to make a relationship. What are you doing? It would be in your We're gonna have a duel. <laughs> will that, will you, let me, you let me be a part of this? You, you want to be my understudy? <laughs> sure. Oh, boy! <laughs>
French jail. It's not. It's not as glamorous as I was as I was expecting. As Pyre just like left me here after the Mona Lisa just. Oh my God! I'm so glad. Actually, your contract just like requires you to come check on me now. <laughs> okay, but this is an iPhone. I have an Android. <laughs> <laughs>
So if you were sitting in the audience, you're like, man, I would love to take an improv class. Well, guess what? You can't. We have classes here. Go online.